Hello, welcome to the Marginal Show, the cybersecurity show. I'm going to talk about in this video the tool that makes you disappear in Kali Linux. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So, what am I talking about? I am talking about who am I? Uh, and you know, have you ever found yourself lost in the vast world of Linux, unsure of your identity in the, within the system? You're not alone. Many users find themselves in this predicament, but who am I command can help you find your bearings. Think the who am I command as your personal Linux mirror. It reflects your identity within the system, revealing the username associated with the current user. It's a simple yet powerful tool that can be incredibly useful in various scenarios. So let's talk about the TLDR. Uh, what does who am I command do in Linux? The who am I command in Linux is built in utility that displays the username of the current user. It is used with the syntax who am I option. It is quick and easy to confirm your identity within the system. So let's talk. So we have an example here. So in this example, we use the who am I command in the terminal. The command returns username, which is the username of the current user. This can be particularly useful when you're logged in into a Linux system and need to quickly confirm which user you are operating as. So the basic use of who am I in its simplest form, the who am I command is used to display the username of the current user. It's a straightforward command that even beginners can use with ease. If you're logged into a Linux system and you're not sure which user you're operating as, the who am I command can quickly provide the answer. So I have another example here and Peter, please put the examples on the screen as I talk about them. Let's keep going. So in this example, the command returns Anton, which is the username of the current user. This means that the current user logged into the Linux system is Anton. The who am I command is a quick and easy way to confirm your ident identity within the system. It's especially useful if you're logged into multiple Linux systems and you need to keep track of your user identity in each one. Let's talk about advanced use cases of who am I. As you become more comfortable with the who am I command, you'll discover that it can be used for, you know, in more complex scenarios than just displaying the current user. It can be used in scripts or combined with other commands to produce more detailed information about the system. So before we dive into advanced usage of who am I, let's familiarize ourselves with some command line arguments or flags that can modify behavior uh, of the who am I command. You can see there is the, you know, a way you can print all current information in report form. Uh, you can only host, you know, you can only use host name and user associated with the ST DIN. Uh, you know, you can show process ID and group, you know, process group ID. So, Peter, please put that on the screen so everybody can see the capabilities of what you can use using this tool. So, using who am I in scripts, the who am I command can be incredibly useful in shell scripts. For instance, you might have a script that, you know, should only be run by a specific user. You can use the who am I to check the current user and exit the script if the user is not the one you expected. And here's an example of this. And let's go, let's talk about more. So combining who am I with other commands, the who am I command can also be combined with other commands to produce more detailed information. For example, you can use the who am I with the ID command to display the user ID along with the username. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section below, right? You can explore alternatives to who am I while who am I is powerful command. There are other commands in Linux that can accomplish the same tasks. Uh, you know, you have the use using ID on to display the current user. The ID on command is, is a great alternative to who am I like who am I? It displays the username of the current user. However, ID on is part of the ID command, which can provide much more detailed information about a user. And you can see that example right here, right? So, uh, lastly, I can quickly squeeze in. So, you know, you can also use the log name to display the current user. The log name command is another alternative to who am I? It displays the name of the user who is currently logged in. While this is often the same as the current user, it can be different if the user has switched accounts using the sue command, right? And there's the example right there. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I want to say thank you for watching the videos and commenting. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.